no, 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 The batteries, the batteries. Come on, come on, come on. He was busy with someone out back, so I left the key in. Hey, buddy. Hey, Jarman's back. That was the llama breeding business. That was like a year ago. That was a bad idea. I'm uh, delivering frozen meat now across country. It's going pretty good. Nice. But I thought I'd stop by here, help Marion out for the place goes into ruins, you know? Right. You should get him a litter box, Mrs. Habershackle. When you let a cat outside to do his business, Colonel Snacks you usually would never get... leave his mama. And I know for a fact, he's not the only pet to go missing from this broken down building. Nothing better happen to Mr. Marshmallow. So you guys, uh, going on vacation, bud? Uh, Danny. I lived here for four years. I, I know, Danny. I, I know your name. Yeah, we're gonna go on vacation. We're gonna take everything we own. I have a niece who lives in a ritzy condominium downtown. And I may just take her up on her offer to go live with her. Don't burden your family, Mrs. Habershackle. Burden us. You sure it's a, it's a good idea to move in this economy? Uh, there's no electricity. Well, there's electricity. I mean, I fixed it when I was here in April. It's the church's power, and it works about 40% of the time. Stealing power from the church. Bad karma, dude. <sighs> you love living here. It's part of your character. Guess you don't think much of my character. You're breaking my heart here, Danny. Look, they shut the gas off a month ago. Seriously? Nothing personal, all right? It's tragic. This place died right along with your boy's mother. Well, we hope you decide to stay, Mrs. Habershackle. The building wouldn't be the same without you. And your heartfelt comments about how much we disappoint our dead mother. Hey. Hey. So you lost what's their face in the baby patrol, huh? Yeah, we're about to lose sour pussy in the pussy parade, too. So. What, what the hell did you do with the gas, Marion? Same thing we did with the electricity. I stopped paying for it. Well, I'm back. Save your ass again, so you're welcome. Want the llamas all die? The meat delivery business is going very well, thank you. Just some sure unforeseeable factors relating to the economy is all. I feel very fortunate you've returned. <laughs> well, you should, because we are going to fix up one of the vacant apartments. We're going to fix it up and turn it into a model unit, OK? Pretty it up, get some Ugh. new tenants in, cover the expenses, pay some bills. All right, well, we have one vacant on two, okay. and all of them on one. All of them? Yeah. Fuck. OK, cool. All of them. Let's go. What's this? Oh, uh, yeah. All the tenants keep losing their pets and blaming me. <laughs> How is that our fault? I don't think it is. All right. First step to the beautification project. Take these down. Uh, oh, but when you get all motivated, you smell like Red Bull and desperation. That's a good start. We should go to the bar. OK. Uh-oh, he's back. Llamas reject your sexual advances? <laughs> yes, they did. I returned to bring this building back to its glory days. Well, technically, its glory days were during Prohibition when it was a speakeasy in a brothel. OK, it's more recent glory days, like when people lived in the apartments upstairs and more people other than us drank in the bar. Yeah, it would probably be best if you just burned the place down and got the insurance money. Oh, your mother would be so thrilled to see you considering this. Ow, we weren't. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Stop it. Are you being gross? No. Stop being gross. I wasn't being gross. Yes, you, you are. You're gonna love this guy one day, Casey. Ew. 
We have a full and thriving business upstairs. And our band has a cheaply shot but cleverly made music video on the internet. Right? The, the momentum of the beautification project has got carryover to the band. Nicholas, we're getting the band back together. I didn't know we were broken up. Jesus. I'm going to go in for last last bit. OK. Sounds fun. All right, so it's a plan of attack there, Sporto. Well, I have a clear mental image. Put in your ass for getting married. Dooby dooby doo, we o we o. Dooby dooby doo, dooby dooby doo, we o we o. Dooby dooby doo. Your last ever a good a chance winner on my boot mat. Hey, your pants, I kicked your ass, and that was it. Cause when I kick an ass, it stays. That doesn't sound like us. Do we have a broom? No, but I have leather pants. What time is it? Seven o'clock. It's Saturday. Tuesday. Start first thing tomorrow? That sounds good. Oh, you guys are an inspiration. What do you think is... God and his church are angry at your electricity stealing ways. Sorry. What do I think is what? What? You said, what do you think? Oh, oh. What do you think is happening to everyone's pets? I don't know, they get fed up with living in this dump and they leave. That's fair. Come on, Donut, get away from the door. You're not even my dog. No, you're not. No, you're not. Hey, if it's a rodent, I mean, we gotta take care of that right away. A rodent that goes into the apartments and takes the pets back out to eat them? I'm skeptical. Go wait for Mommy, Donut. Uncle Polly's trying to take a dump. Maybe it's uh, an evil rich lady who's making a coat from their fur. Unless it's a rodent. Uh, again, I don't think too much of that theory. Uh, just saying, rodent. Like uh, to be like a gerbil fucking vampire. Fuck off! Fuck off! Shut up! Fuck, off. Shut up. fuck you! Uh... My name is Jarman Mug. I'm the landlord of 3223 West Belmont. The, 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 there's a, a fucking monster in a fucking building. Oh, oh, just wait. Just, 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 just. They're probably gonna come anyway. I said our address. There's gotta be a, a fine or something for prank calling 911. Come with me. Yeah! Vandals! 
The kids in this neighborhood are monsters. Right? This is not enough to call 911! <laughs> Listen before you get mad. Listen to no, what I have to say no. before you get mad! Listen! You caught the vandals, and when you tried to stop them, they mugged you. Right? Right? You're a hero. It's a stupid idea! I'm not getting mugged! If I get mugged, I have to go to a police station and then fill out a police report and then describe my attacker. Damn it. Yeah, that's probably a good point. Ah, give me. Ah, I only meant one could be an accident. Two, that's Vandas. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. <laughs> Okay, let me do all the talking. I do all the talking. If I feel like I have something to contribute no, to the conversation, I'm gonna up. say something. Shut up. Drop the club. Okay. You call 911? Yeah, that was yes. my brother, officer. We own this building. We think some vandals busted out the windows. You know, the, the kids in this neighborhood are monsters, as you may be aware, my brother said on the call. Uh huh. Well, what, what, what are you gonna do with the club? Huh? Uh, in case the vandals return? Why are you breathing so heavy? I have a deviated septum. I always breathe like this. Never trust a mouth breather. Write that down. What's wrong with your fucking nose? Why is it bleeding? Good story, right, Marion? Yeah, I hit him. What? Are you too crazy? Yeah, it was a family matter. You want us to lock him up? No, 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 no. I, I couldn't afford the bail. You only call 911 when your life is in immediate danger, a threat. Right. Vandalized property doesn't count. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We probably overreacted. You did. That's what I just said. Give me your names. I'm Marion Mug. He's Jarman Mug. It's two G's. Marianne? Yeah, John Wayne's name was Marion Morrison. Yeah, but he changed it to John Wayne. You know what? I don't like you two. And I'm putting you on my list. Write down your telephone number. I can wait for my time. Your time? What about my time? You eyeballing me, nigga? No, no, no. Thanks. Here's our card. If you need us, call us back. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Ah, thank you. These two guys are in, bro, from Tennessee. I swear to God. Why would he say he didn't like us? We're very likable. Whatever this thing is, it's our problem now. We should call a tenant meeting. You want to talk to the tenants about the monster that's eating all the pets in our building? No, no, we'll lie to them. But uh, we should tell them something or you know, keep alert, you know? Please we should go to the bar. Me, okay. Cass. Don't let the dogs near the As place. you know, I run a home business out of my apartment. A brothel is more like it. It's not a brothel. Okay, a brothel is many rats. prostitutes. Anyway, without heat and electricity, I can't do what I do. And if I can't do what the I do, then hermit. how are you going to do it? In 205, the one no one has ever seen has these crazy bright lights Hermit's that keep going on and off and on and off. Splinters in the railing. But if I don't use the railing, I could fall and break my head open. So if you find it in your hearts, I would like two ceiling fans mounted horizontally right. and she's practically begging me to move into her ritzy I can't do what I do then how are you going to get paid and, and this on isn't a good and off I get a cold blast and, and off and on okay okay that that was great that was great we got a lot of really good ideas here about how we might ameliorate improve your situation so thank you for your time and your comments oh, oh there is one more thing about the missing pets. See, it's stemming from. It might a, be stemming from. Some sort of animal. Like, like maybe a raccoon? Yeah, like a slightly larger than average raccoon or creature critter. Cool. Like, critter? Jumbo? Like, 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 like coyote? Oh. The point is, everyone, we just want you to be, you know, don't really worry about it. Just kind of keep an eye out. Vigilant. There you go. That's a word. Be vigilant. I like that word. Like Mrs. Haversackle. Now might be a good time to start locking your door. I won't live in a world where I have to trap myself in my own home. Everyone, it's just, we just wanted all of you to know that we've got good people. Capable people. Right, and, and, and they're working on this, and, and we, we feel very confident that everything is under control. Right. But be vigilant. Just in case. And uh, if you could all drop off your rent checks on the way out, that would really help us mm -hmm. get started on your issues. Thank you. 
Thanks, Eliza. That's great. I like that hat very much, Mr. Compound. I like your, two, Miss, your hat, too, Mrs. Habershackle. It's particularly touching. Hey, yeah, I was thinking, guys, since every tenant gets a beer at the meeting and I have five people living in my apartment, I should get four more beers. No, Polly. You're the only one that lives in your apartment that's on the lease. Or who pays rent. And you haven't even done that yet. It's upstairs, man. I forgot it. Oh, good. Well, we'll come right up and get it then. Cool. So is there no on those beers? Fine. One more. But drink it here. You never return our bar glasses. You guys are awesome. We have a lot of work to do. Uh. How about a little head? Oh, there you are. I dropped some of my cards earlier, and I want to make sure that you boys know that my refrigerator has been making an awful sound for the past month. Just when I'm about to fall asleep, at night there will be a horrible banging noise and a screech, like the death knell of a mama's bird of prey or some such thing at all. It's just too much to bear. We uh, totally understand, Mrs. Havershackle. We will see to that first thing in the morning. Uh, yeah. I don't believe it for a moment. But at least you can't say you didn't know about it. Fair enough. Have a good n night. We're gonna need something stronger than duct tape. Hey, should I get the quarter inch or the three quarter? Jesus, I'll get the three quarter. is my dog. We're gonna need something better than plywood. Come on, move your ass. You fucking serious? What's your plan if we run into it? So I'll board it up. Once we secure the halls, it's got nowhere to go but out. Just to sweeten the deal. Meat trail. You're fucking weird, bro. What's their names in the Baby Patrol, right? Yeah, it's vacant now. Hey, Paul.
Polly. Oh, that light is bright, man. Too bright, man. Polly, how did you get in here? What are you doing in here? It's like I woke up in the middle of garbage football practice. Polly, listen to the words I'm saying. How did you get in this room? I just unlocked the door. Oh, yeah, man. This is my private thinking area. It's part of the expansion program you guys said was cool. What expansion program? The expansion program. We did not say that was cool, Polly. No. No. You no. sure? It, it, is that a load-bearing wall? Oh, man, I hope not. I've been beating the shit out of it. I'm sure I told one of you guys about this, and you said it was cool. Dude, you told me about it, bro. And I said it was cool. Oh, Remember? Oh, that's who I told. You know, in the grand scheme of things... This is, like, number 23 on our to-do list. Yeah, relatively speaking, not a huge deal. Hey, uh, you guys gonna hang out for a while in your, uh, space costumes? <laughs> yeah, we should hang out for a while in our space costumes. Actually, no. We have some very important business we have to tend to immediately. Yeah, almost immediately we need to. Absolutely not! Hey, w would you want to hear me play a song on the guitar? I don't offer to play my girlfriend's songs on the guitar, man. I'm sorry. Hey, I own this whole building. Stop it. Sorry. Drugs, dude, you don't have the system for it. Weed isn't a hard drug. No, but the mushrooms in that joint are pretty powerful if you're not properly anchored. You didn't say there were mushrooms in the joint before I smoked it, Molly. Yeah, I probably did. Oh. That looks like he's about to pop, Polly. Yeah, man, he's not doing too well. Yeah. <gasps> Maybe you should help guide him down. All right, come on, man. This is exactly why we had the whole expansion program. Come on, you and me, we'll go to a quiet place. Push, push me. There you go. Hey, he's all right, right? Like, to the extent that I don't have to do anything. Oh, yeah, man, I got this. You, you should stay right there. Thank you so much. So here she is, the key to peaceful reentry, simple and elegant in her design, the Atari 2600. Take it, man. There you go. There you go. Now let the healing begin. You are the grand champion. You are a true hero. I see that now. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thanks for that. I'm okay now. Yeah, you don't you don't look okay, man. No, I'm fine. I'm good. I don't think you're fine, man. I gotta go. I gotta go. Hey, you said that you had that rent, yeah? Oh, yeah, man. I was lying about that. Give me whatever you have. I mean, you knocked a hole in my wall and you tricked me into tripping balls. Yeah, I only got a couple of bucks. Give me the fucking money, Polly! Oh, shit, I'm, I'm sorry. You got works, you know? So you don't have another pet. Nope. Nope. Just tortilla. What? Yeah, we got a cat. This chick brought her home. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. No, you didn't. No? We got a cat! Hey, 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 you smell. 
smash the sensor. Shut up. Those things took a long time to make. Shut up. You should never do hard drugs. dared me to go in there when I was six and you were seven. I have never been in there in my life. I had nightmares for a week. Uh, I am tripping way too hard to overcome childhood fears right now. Peanut. A riddle. A butter. No. Clusters. No, no, Mr. Mr. Confab's Yorkie Peanut. It's the last living pet in the building. Shut up. Do the math. Yeah. All right, we're gonna need... I have no idea what we're gonna need at this point. We should go to the bar. Okay. You know now, the Mars is living the furnace. Wow. The got shut down. Hello, robot lords. What's the damn purpose to play like the guy? We're going over to your apartment to kidnap and anally probe your freakishly large boyfriend. Mm. Funny you should mention that. Why is that? Why would you, why would you say that that was a funny thing? Settle down. Reel it in. Well, I was wondering if you had a decent rate on a vacant unit. Things aren't going well with Kong. Mm, not so much. We'll see. Um... Seriously, you're hesitating? I, I would like very much for you to live here. You know, we just have a whole lot of things we have to do around the building. I'm sure you're aware we have problems. You have no idea how much it pains me to say so. I think she has some idea. No, 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 no. You think you're ready, but you're not. Listen. The minute I see you, I'm gonna fuck you so hard, your ears will ring. <laughs> yeah, no, you better be ready. No, 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 you better be ready, yeah. And don't worry about me, because the pump is primed, and I am set for some wet, intense fucking... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? We're on raccoon patrol. You're leaving Peanut alone? I put a towel over the heating duct. A, a towel? The, what, what, what about the plywood we put there? I had to remove it. I had something of value in the vent. You keep your money in a vent? None of your business. What was it for? Yes. Yeah. Look. I'm just saying, I would not leave my pet in the middle of a pet crisis. I mean, I guess we're just different people that way. Yeah, well, I would hope that we are uh, <laughs> different people in a lot of ways. Good day, gentlemen. Have fun, horny bastard. Bringing back some pictures. Fuck! Fucking shit! What intense fucking shit? Remember, he said that on the phone. Where are you going? You going with him? Uh-oh. Look at that face. That's real. Oh, he's bringing it in. Calm down. Here oh, we go. Peanut. I'm not going to sit here and wait for you to die. Hey, yeah! You actually said hi ya? <laughs> that's, that's from 60s TV shows. I'm not sitting here and letting that dog die. Oh, that was close. Let's see, like, a, a scratch in the paint. I wish you would just shut Go again! Go again! Go again, go again now! Go again. You have the eye on! You have the intensity! This is channel what you're doing to me into the door! Go 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 this is the best thing. Can I try one? Can I do that? I want to get yeah. one in. I want to get a good one in there. All right.
dumbass. Hey, hey, shh. There we go. There we go. Ugh. I know it. We wait till Confab gets home. Ugh. I'm gonna go through his shit. Shut up. Shut up. Don't say anything. Wait. You know what? Really? I saw somewhere they said you really don't need that huge movement. Wait. Wait a minute. If you just feel, you know, like a squeeze, that's all you really need. Oh, yeah. Eat my shit. If, if we don't alphabetize, then why have we evolved to this point? I'm Nicholas. I can play guitar. I think I'm hot shit because I look like Vince Vaughn and sound like Tom Waits. I can't get too buff though because pale fucking people, you ever see a pale dude at the beach and he's super ripped? That's fucked up. Mr. Hezekiah Confab is having an unreasonable amount of sex right now. Hezekiah Confab, please leave your message clearly and succinctly. You know, get off the fucking couch. I'm on my way home, sweetie. You hold your tinkle for 15 more minutes, and Daddy will be right home. That dude is way weirder than I ever suspected. I kind of want to hang out with him sometime. Ah, oh, Peanut. You, my friend, shall live another day. Why don't you go to the bar? Give me shots. Settle down. There are ghosts in all these halls. And the brothers, they are facing it. They're committed to the preacher down. Seriously, what's up with those outfits? Seriously, what's up with your cock ass boyfriend? God damn it. What's up, Mary? I was just trying to convince your girlfriend to leave you for me. You're funny. Yeah, that's true, but I'm related. Hey, Nicholas. I'm gonna go theorize with Dave. Yeah, I'd be surprised if you didn't. Hey, Adrian, you do, like, construction work, right? I'm a licensed and bonded contractor, if that's what you mean. Yeah, we were having some problems in the basement. You want to be more specific? Uh, let's say the foundation. Not really a concrete guy, but I could probably take a look at it. Yeah. I think I'd like to get you in the basement as soon as humanly possible. Want me to look at it right now? Now we can hold off on that. Guy's a tool. You're a tool. You love my tool. Ew. Ho, ho, ho. Merry weekday. Ho, ho, ho. Uh. Hey, fuck what? While you're gay dancing on the goddamn couch, that fucking dog is probably half digested and it's stuck. Okay, that's cute. Thank you. The like path that. to a heart attack and the path to enlightenment are on the same path. They are merely at opposite ends. Yeah. The path to fucking off is on the tip of my dick. So do you want to drink or do you want to gay prance for the rest of the month? Ooh, I want to drink. You know, let me come over here and get your fucking drink. God damn it. I hate you so much. I'm going to drink it. I'm going to drink it. Deliver onto me. That whiskey. All right. OK, well. <gasps> It's way too late to abort you, isn't it? Peanut, hold on, damn it. You really messed up his carpet. Don't let him drink the whiskey. <laughs> You're an asshole. Yeah, that's what happens. I cannot find enlightenment without whiskey. Just get on with your life. Do good things. Oh. Become a great man because of the gift I've given you. That's why you're my brother. Well, we all have our crosses to bear.
to the salvation of Peanut. Yeah, hallelujah, amen, etc. Mm. Oh, fuck Ooh. you! Oh, no! 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 God damn it! No! God. No, 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 no! Fuck! No! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Fuck! Peanuts in the basement. Peanuts in the basement! I can't afford to build for both buildings, but I'm looking the other way because I loved your mother and because I know about the demons you have inside. What do you know about the demons? We all have them, Jarman. Oh, those demons. No, mine are different, Father. Mine eat Pomeranians. Father? Marion? Everything okay? Nope. I can help you in any way but a financial way. I need you to please disconnect the cords by the end of the week. That's more than fair, Father. All right. So the, the bright side, I guess, being it, it has nothing left to eat. All right. So now what, it, uh, you know, starves to death or moves on? Gets really pissed off. Yeah, I'm gonna stop trying to cheer you up now. <sighs> no fancy raccoon armor tonight, boys? Look, I was just getting used to the fashions. I decided to show some solidarity. Huh? Oh, that's really nice you bought that. Oh, I didn't buy this. I had it at home. Next time I see Adrian, I'm just gonna run up to him and punch him in the face. You think if I got a couple good ones in before he knew what was going on that I could take him? Nope. No. That's your poltergeist. What do you mean? It's been going on like this all week. Shit, I think that could be your raccoon. What the fuck? Shackle. Everything is okay. It, the, the handy mart sold you some tainted tea. You're, you're having an intense hallucination. But it's okay. You're gonna feel better in the morning. 
but a little sore. Uh, because of your erratic behavior due to the... Episode. Right. So just sleep. Sleep. Just shh, 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 shh. Sleep. Hurts, right? Got one myself up on the up on the noggin. Oof. Okay. All right. Thank you, officers. Yeah. No. It's just really good to know that everything is under control. Yeah. You guys have a good night too. The police were here. What? Oh my gosh. Jar. Mr. Confab passed out again and doesn't remember talking to the police just now when they were here. Really? Wow. Man, they were really impressed with your story. Yeah. You know, they, they said you practically saved Habershackle's life tonight with your bravery. They just said it a second yeah. ago. One of the cops even gave you his business card. You put it in your shirt pocket. Yeah, so you did. That's oh. sticking out there. I, I'm going to take that, though, you know, since we're the landlords yeah. and we're the point men on the whole big raccoon thing. That's a good idea. That makes yeah. sense. You, you're feeling all right now? Hmm. Yeah. Let me help you up, sir. Oh, there you go. Thank you for your, your heroism. You're a hero, Mr. Confab, a hero. Fuck. We should go to the bar. I'm going to sleep. We always go to the bar. Look, man, I'm going to the bar. I want to go to the bar. I don't need you to go with me. Of course. It... What? Never mind. Fuck off. It's bad. But if someone had to die. Oh, man, that is bad. And she's not a good choice. She has a niece. Yeah, man. Fancy condominium downtown. Yeah, exactly. It'd have to be somebody who wouldn't have a lot of people come looking for him. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to factor in a lot of information to make a decision like that. Fucked. If it's not starving to death. It's not moving on. It's just really pissed off. Like, I almost wish and why do we have to bring all the puppies back to these nice people? Because I didn't watch Ketchup when I let her out to potty. That's right. And we both know that Ketchup can't be out alone because she has loose morals. Do you remember who else has loose morals? Your cousin. My cousin Linda. Loose moral Linda. Don't we call her that? Yes. Do you know what I think of when I think of the town? Linda. We're going to hell just for coming in here. We're not killing them. We're just giving them to our tenants as a gesture of goodwill. It's a death sentence. It's a necessity. It's evil. It's the lesser of two evils. They're too cute to kill. What a strange bunch of folks, hermits, prostitutes, and singers. In this transient kind of atmosphere, all kinds of folks linger. Well, maybe it's the tequila, and maybe it's the whiskey. You guys must really love animals. What the fuck are you suggesting, asshole? Don't do that. Yes. We really love animals. Listen, I don't have much on me. Just take whatever's in the register. I won't tell anyone, all right? No, thank you. Sorry about that. Nothing. Okay. All right. Is it too much to write Mole Man snacks right on the box? Hey, I've been calling it a Mole Man in my head the whole time. Right? It's dead on. Mm-hmm. dead on. How's that? That looks really serious. One of us should do something about that. Marion, shit! No, 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 no! I don't know what it means! Hey, buddy! Hey, 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 buddy! Oh! God damn it! Why is your face hard? Don't hurt Fuck, him! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Oh. Hey, 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 hey! Whoa! When did you grow that mustache? This morning. It looks good. 
Like a cowboy or a lumberjack? All right, get out of sleep, Nancy! Oh, fuck! All right, Timber, coming down. Big tree falling. Oh, fucking shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think I've been very patient. You have been. But I'm starting to get mad. I understand. Ah, oh, God. Oh. Oh. You look oh. like you could use a purse. Oh. Suck. That purse hurt. Why don't you search for some panties ah. in there, bitches? Hey! This doesn't concern you, Nicholas. Yeah, it does, because we're getting the band back together. Who gives a fuck? You know what? Get out of here. Go. Just go. It's fine with me. And don't bother calling. Yeah. I won't. He meant me. Oh, I'm looking forward oh, to these sir. speed bumps, sir. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Oh. Fuck you, buddy. Oh. I'll keep on my phone up. Shake your fucking ah! ass. Well, you guys got some good shots on yeah, They felt good, leaving the shoulder. And then less good when they made contact with his titanium armor chest. What are you doing? I think Adrian undeviated my septum. Cool. What's with a box? Oh, <laughs> this guy is for you. He is your housewarming present for moving oh, into the building. Oh, my goodness. We felt bad about all the pets going missing, so we rescued these from the shelter and oh. give them all away as gifts to the tenants. Yeah, Mrs. Habershack will probably end up with all the cats herself. What cats? I want somebody to come up to me and complain about their fucking week. Sit them down, buy them a beer, and tell them a story about a week that starts with a pet-eating mole man and ends with a trunk full of dead fucking kittens. See if they didn't end up feeling a little bit better about their own life. Let's go do what we came to do. Yeah. We're aware of the problems the building has been having lately, and... We hope that you accept this small token of our appreciation and... Regrets for your loss. Don't you dum-dums worry. That by bringing new pets into the building. You're probably resigning them. To the same horrible fate as all the others. Actually, our close collaboration with various local agencies has left us with a lot of confidence that the situation is well in hand. Ugh, yeah, probably. Five dogs buys us five days, uh -huh. theoretically. Marion, Jarman, Mug, two G's. Any vandalism lately? Uh, since no, last, no, since last no, but hey, thanks for checking in. I'm not checking in. Oh. An animal shelter on Sugar Grove said that uh, two guys came in and got a bunch of dogs and cats after a heated conversation about whether or not they would eat them. Employee wrote down your number on the place of your car, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't talking about whether or not we were going to eat them. We were just talking, never mind. He uh, heard us completely out of context. We, uh, we would not eat puppies. We gave them to our tenants as presents. Gifts. Yeah, that's what the bartender downstairs said. I'm not sure how much you two know about adopting animals, but you can't just walk into a place and say, I'll take this one, I'll take that one. Well, then why did he give them to us? Because he was terrified after you scared the shit out of him. Now, where are my kittens? Oh, my God. <sighs> we took them to a farm. Oh. Oh, oh, you took them to a farm. Yeah. Took the kittens to a farm. Kittens love mm -hmm. farm. Came back here and delivered the puppies. Next. To all the tenants. Yeah. Inside the space of an hour after coming from the pound. Yeah. We, huh? we, brought, we, we brought them to a friend uh, that he took them to the farm. We didn't go to the farm. No, he 
went to the farm. Kittens did. Yeah, and your friend, I'm supposing, he doesn't have a cell phone. Not on him. You're probably right, no. Uh, no. services. Yeah, well, I would suggest that you tell your friend to get the kittens back to you so that you can get the kittens back to the pound by tomorrow morning, or you and deviated fucking mouse-breathing septum here are both going to jail. That's fair. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you sir. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the box still has to stay. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm just kidding. Let go of the box. box. Let go of the box. Let go of He told you to let go of the box. Yeah. Oh. Look out, Pete. Uh. You said it was about to attack you, man. Uh. I can't remember if I told you to. I don't like you. See you tomorrow. Hey, Pete, where you at? We need a new plan. We need to feed that thing a fucking bear or something. Right? Or like a llama? Like something more meat on its bones and tide it over for a longer time. Yeah, but something we can get our hands on a little more easily than, like, to use your example, a llama. Right. Day. So you guys own this whole building? Huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I, I owned a catering company once, and my daughter, uh, she sells homemade Cornish pasties on the internet. She puts rutabaga in those. Delicious. So you just want some garbage taken out, huh? You know, there's no hurry. No. Huh? Not like a rush on that. No. No. Not at all. We. We could eat first. Yeah. And then work second, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's get Harold a steak. Hell yeah. A steak? Yeah, I'm gonna get a medium rare. You only live once, right? <laughs> you, want a, you want a baked potato or you want a twice baked? Twice. I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> hey, you, Harold? Yeah. You, want, you wanna get a beer while we wait? Beer would be great. That'd be great. That'd, that'd be great. Let's go get a beer. Mmm, I cannot believe I got a big old steak dinner just for cleaning up our basement. <laughs> you, know, you know, my wife, she, she was never a big fan of steak. She, she, she used to take chicken breast and wrap bacon around, then top it up with avocado and blue cheese crumbles. Can you imagine such a thing? No, I can't. It sounds delicious. Oh, delicious. My butter was fantastic. All right. Uh, what do you say we go knock off that basement? Nah. Oh no. Uh, we got time. Uh, yeah. you need you need another steak, or I mean, can we get you anything else? You need anything no. at all? You know what? This is gonna sound strange. Well, it's not weird. Anything. I, I saw some bongos in the back room. <laughs> This is not going to make my work any easier. No, make it more pleasant though, right? Or less painful. Shut up. Uh, work isn't painful. A good day of working is a good day indeed. Absolutely. Uh, you, you know, guys have been very generous but I, I have to set one thing straight. Okay. <laughs> Either of you tries to get in my pants, I'm gonna slap shit out of both of you. You're too much of It's too much of it. I might just go for a tug. <laughs> <laughs> because we make, Man-on-man -man pornos in the basement. 
<laughs> ah, I'm gonna fuck you sideways. I can't help thinking if I'd been a little more aggressive about taking chances, I'll let you two guys. My life would have turned out different. Stop talking like that, Harold. You no, know, oh, it's true. You guys are an, are an inspiration. You, you always meet life head on, without fear. Aeneas Nin once said, life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. Did you ever read her? Uh, she's a good writer. She used to write a lot of porn with Henry Miller. Uh, oh, yeah, she's a switch hitter. She's hot. All right, I'm going to do this. Goodbye, Harold. Don't say goodbye. You don't say goodbye to somebody who's going down the stairs, grabbing a bag, and walking right back up. That's inappropriate. Just sit down. It's inappropriate. I like him. I mean, of course, you know, part of me hopes he makes it out okay. Yeah, me too. It's a mess down there, but I didn't see any bags to bring up. Well, that's kind of creepy. Fuck! 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 Just walked in. Like the fucking door, just walked in. Go take Harold home, I'll meet you in the bar. Well, you know now, this place is creepy and creepy, creepy and creepy, creepy and creepy, creepy and creepy. Where's Nicholas? He's strategizing with Dave. Where's Marion? And not one of us is sleeping. Hell this place. Anyway. You said that two hours ago. Really? Yeah. I've heard some frequent loud noise. Ever since you went off. Thanks. So we just gotta pick up. What the fuck? Oh, uh, this was your idea. I'm just trying to be as, you know, as thorough as humanly possible. What is it? Well, it's all the necessary information to decide, you know. No, I don't. Who should die next? <laughs> okay. We should go down to the bar, have a couple more drinks. I'm not saying it's going to be an easy decision, you know, but I think I have the obvious choice picked out. I think it's good. We've had a lot of whiskey lately, a lot of beer. What do you say we go get tequila? Let's go get tequila drunk, Mayor. 207, that hermit, right? He has absolutely no connection with the outside world. It's perfect. KC asked where you were. Let's go down to the bar. Let's, let's go say hi to KC. I'm not saying I'm going to hit him on the back of the head and put him in the mole man's fucking food dish or anything like that. It walked in through Habershackle's unlocked door. I'm just going to unlock his door. It's like a, like a subtle form of invitation, that's all. Put the key down, man. I'm way too drunk to argue with you right now, and I just want to go to sleep. Put it back. What's your idea? What's your idea that's better than this one? Hmm? No, just give me like a thumbnail sketch of what you have to replace this, and we'll jump right on top of that, both of us, both feet, all the way in. You got a bigger garbage can lid you want to strap on? Maybe you got a better, sharper cheese grater or some shit like that? We tried that, okay? We tried your stupid fucking ideas, and now somebody's dead because of it, all right? What if it decides wants to come get KC next? Maybe it's gonna come after you next. 
I'm sorry, I can't let that happen. We've already let too much happen. I am going to make something happen. This is what I am doing. I'm very drunk, Marion. We're both very tired to be talking about this shit, okay? I mean, it feasted on Habershackle after a week of cats and dogs. It's probably stuffed. We can talk about this in the morning, man. <sighs> all, right, all, right, all right, all right, You're right, I'm sorry. This is, this is stupid. We'll figure it out tomorrow. Thank God. My bladder's gonna pop. I understand. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> shit. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. You see that I just did that. I saved your asses just moments after you were outside debating whether or not to offer me up as a sacrifice. That was mostly me, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry too. I apologize. I have some questions. I told you. I told you. I'm gonna go and philosophize with Dave. I'm gonna go theorize with Dave. Where's Nicholas? He's strategizing with Dave. I told you. This is Dave? No. No, we cash the rent checks every month. The, the, the guy who lives in this apartment is named... Um, David. David something. Shit. Oh. Whoa. Oh, my. I have some more questions to add to that earlier list of questions that five years ago, the pilot light went out in the furnace, and as a favor to your mother, I went down to relight it. That was considerate of you. Yeah, well... Yeah, well, what? Are you pantomiming that Dave and our mom had crazy jungle sex on each other? That is not information that is essential to the thrust of this narrative. Nicholas? She was, like, 10 years older than you. 15, actually, but she was vivacious, and, um a snappy dresser. That's not what we're here to talk about. You, you can imagine what I saw in the basement. He was trying to crawl out of the trap door underneath the furnace. Trap door underneath the furnace? There's a trap door apparently under the furnace. Bootleggers run, not just a cute name. Yes. There was a tunnel that connected the basement of the bar to a still that was in the basement of the church. 
during Prohibition, many secret passages all over this great city. This is not what we're here to talk about. So I slammed the door on his head, relit the pilot, came back up here. I have not left this apartment or had a full night's sleep since that day. Our little story took an unfortunate turn about a month ago when you let the furnace burn out and stay out, dooming the residents of this building to a certain and very painful death. The end. Okay. I have to ask a question. No. No, I have to formulate a question in no. my brain and then say it no, with no, my face. No, 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 please. This feels important a to moment, clarify things. A moment, a moment. David, I need a drink. I need to take in all, all of this. And then I probably need to have a second drink. Could we do that? Yeah. And then the questions. I could, I could, I could get on board with that kind of, kind of agenda. And then the questions. That sounds great. I think the uh, 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 What do we do now? What I do is stay here and obey the rules of the Mole Man Survival Guide. There's no such thing. There will be as soon as I find a publisher. We've been calling it a mole man too. That's the same word we use. There's absolutely no other term that could possibly be applied. I don't want to become a hermit. No offense. All right. Tell us everything you know about the mole man. And how we can kill it. Tonight. Listen closely. So you probably have already figured out, the beast is nocturnal. What's up? How's everybody, how's everybody today, man? You dropped that. Nice. I got it. Now, I can't stress this enough. This is a representation of the Mole Man. It's, good. it's similar in form, but the Mole Man moves very quickly. Uh, also, you're not going to find silverware on the end of the fingers. Where are our areas again? Throat, instep, groin, right? Throat, instep, groin. 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 Yeah. Where was it? Right here. This. It's not a shovel, it's a super spade. My foot in your ass are getting married.
emergency tenant meeting. Drag your slap happy ass downstairs. Let's go, tenant meeting, let's go! All right, downstairs, We called this meeting because we have not been entirely forthcoming about the situation in this building. It seems there's been a mole man living under the building for some time now. So. It's been eating our pets and putting us, generally speaking, in harm's way. Yeah. Questions? Are you guys fucking high? You interrupted my work for this? That's okay. This is pretty interesting. I, I, I wish we were uh, fucking high, but this, this is absolutely real. We should have told you before. We thought we could take care of it. We're going to kill it now. Well, someone should warn Mrs. Habershackle. Yeah. The Mole Man ate Mrs. Habershackle earlier this evening. <laughs> oh my God. You know, I hate to say this, but if anybody in this building had to die. Yeah, I'd... she was a bitch. Well, actually I was going to say she lived a full and rewarding life, but you can toss that in if you like. I met the niece once, she, uh... She told me she was hoping the old lady would die. She was running out of excuses not to let her move into her condo. Okay, well, we, we are gonna go ahead and kill it anyway. Mm -hmm. With shovels? Uh, they're not shovels, they're super spades. We're not asking for your help. We just wanted you to know what was going on in case we didn't make it back. Can I come with? Uh... Sure. Huh? Can I have a superpower? We can't actually Absolutely. give you a superpower. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I loved your mother. And this building, it was her heart. I'm coming too. You know, she let me do what I needed to do around here, so we're in too. Do I have to pay for the time we spent fighting the mole man? <sighs> yes. Okay. Now, are you all absolutely sure you want to do this? Yes. Yes. Do what? Okay, listen closely. Our experts say that access to the sewers is through a trap door in the furnace. Now, we guesstimate that the distance from the furnace to the bedrock level below is somewhere in the neighborhood of 8 to uh, like 35 feet ish. Uh, we won't really know the floor plan for sure until we get down there. Now, we don't want anyone to be a hero, so we're going to position you guys behind us, and Marion and myself, mm. we're going to flank it from both sides. I don't think you have to worry about heroes so much. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Hey, listen, I don't want you to come either. I, I wasn't planning on it. Okay, good, good. That's, that's, what I, that's what I wanted, so that's good. Sorry, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been meaning to do that for a while. So. That's okay. Um, it, uh, so if we make it back, I can't promise that I won't, I won't do that again. Hmm. Probably shouldn't. I'm seeing Nicholas right now. Oh. All right. I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, Good luck. Thanks. Oh, hey, do you want me to call the police or the fire department or anybody who normal people would go to in no. the case of this? This is us. Sir, you good. Super awkward.
go. Jesus Christ, don't do that. Now it's over here. Stop doing it's behind that. you, it's on Why the other side. Stop doing that. Prove a point. Fucking <laughs> shoulder pads are cumbersome. I'm gonna kill you. My shoulder pads fortify me. You should have brought yours. Cumbersome. Oh. Okay. Remember the plan. Set up a perimeter of light. Mm. Then we attack with precision. Run in step, grind. Right. Throat. In step. Grind. Mm. In step. Grind. Throat. In step. That. That was a good thing to do. Okay. Okay. That's very macho what you did there. That's the thing. Thing here. Do shit fast. I don't want to get a job. Just don't. God, fucking heavy. Oh, 
shaft. Stop growing, I understand. Shut the fuck up! I'm shut the fuck up. God damn it. Quiet. It's important though. It's important. Give me a lantern. God damn it, Mary! Perimeter of light! Shit! Give me the other one! Give me the other one! Perimeter of light! I'm gonna paint this thing! Shovel, come on in. Okay, Co, just fucking wait. Like an adult, Marion, I am passing it to you. That's good, thank you. I got it, I got it, thank you, that's good. Thanks for asking. I'm sorry, but if I try to talk to you right now, I'm gonna laugh in your face. Mugs, concrete hoo ha over here. What'd you say about Grandma? Wet concrete gash waiting hungrily for you. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, I probably wouldn't put my face right in the uh, mole man sewer hole. It seems like it'd be equal parts hygiene and safety concern. Fuck you! Oh, what the fuck is this? It's like a nest built out of doggy death. Are those Habershackles ribs? Oh. oh, fuck. I think that's Peanut. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Peanut. Fuck. You can't see very good. I need to make this damn thing bright. Ah! Oh fuck, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I thought a fucking motion sensor went off or something. They're not on motion sensors. They're on fucking perimeter lights. I know, I panicked, I'm sorry. We talked about our perimeter lights for an hour. There are fucking perimeter lights! All right, I've said I'm sorry now. I don't know what else I'm gonna do with that. Did you hit me with your shovel? It's not a shovel, it's a super spade, and yes, I'm sorry! Why would you do that to me? Just get on your goddamn feet! You wanna fucking get up and set your fucking precious perimeter of light, or do you wanna sit on your fucking- ah! Ah! Fuck, get him off me! Get him off me! Get him off me! What is the point? Just blame you! For every kid of you, motherfucker! Get the throat and stuff and throw him in the fucking head! Get the throat and Where the fuck is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Good idea, good idea.
no, 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 Electricity are your responsibility. But the heat is included in the rent. All right, that's weird. What's the catch? And don't tell me there is one because I'm not stupid. My grandmother's armoire is going to look weird in here. Were these windows here the first time we saw this place? I don't remember these weird windows. No, it's just, you know these old Chicago buildings. They're very drafty. So we've decided to leave the heat running 24-7 all year long. We just didn't think it was fair to pass that expense down to the tenants. So we pay for it. Any other questions? All right, then here are your keys. See, this, this one here is for the front door. This one's the back door. Please excuse us. So just take one moment. Were you flirting with him? Out of the wood, what? 
When the monster is stirring Most of them have harmless quirks And the horror, the nightmares are reoccurring And you know that weirdness don't explain this place And it odds too kind of word There's a wicked nonchalance at play And all the lines have been blurred Though you know there's a monster in the basement And there are ghosts in all these halls And the brothers, they are facing it They're committed to the creature's downfall And there's a monsters in the furnace Don't tell me And every one of us is feeling the heat. And every one of us is professionally nervous. <clears throat> and no, oh, man, we're gonna make those sons of bitches go down and defeat you. How oh, I said now, the, everywhere you look, there's a rolling eyes. And downtrodden souls. Ugliness has no disguise. <laughs> Man, that fear takes his dole.